Unit 4 The World of Fishes Reading Nearly three-fourths of the earth is covered with water. This part of the earth forms a different world where thousands and lakhs of species of fishes live. Human beings know only a little about their world. This unit is based on the discoveries about fishes. Fishes have been on the earth for more than 450 million years. They were well established long before dinosaurs roamed on the earth. There are over 25,000 identified species of fish in the water on the earth. It is estimated that there may still be over 15,000 fish species that have not yet been identified. Nearly 40% of all fish live in fresh water. And you know that less than 2% of the earth's water is fresh water. Fishes have excellent senses of sight, touch and taste and many possesses a good sense of smell and hearing. Most fishes produce by laying eggs, though some fish such as great white sharks give birth to live babies called pups. Many fishes living in a deep sea produce light. And unlike a fluorescent tube lights and bulbs, which waste a lot of electricity energy as heat, the light produced by these fishes uses energy very efficiently, with no heat. Hence, it is known as cold light. The lantern fish has this kind of light. It has a row of luminous spots along its body, whose position and color is different. Not only in the different kinds of lantern fish, but even in the two genders of the same kind. So, even in the dark, a female knows that the fish approaching her is a male or female of her species. The mud skippers is a fish that spends most of its time out of water and can walk on its fins. It carries a portable water supply in its gill chambers when it leaves the water. It can also breathe through the pores of its wet skin. Lungfish can live out of water for several years. It secretes a mucus cocoon and burrows itself under the unbacked earth. It takes in water with its lungs through a built-in breathing tube that leads to the surface. A lungfish has both gills and a lung. Fishes use a variety of low-pitched sounds to convey messages to each other. They mourn, grunt, crook, boom, hiss, whistle, creak, shriek and wail. They rattle their bones and gnash their teeth. However, fish do not have vocal cords. They use other parts of their bodies to make noises. The mud skippers is a While some fishes stay near a selected home, others wander far and wide. Notable among these are the oceanic tuna, Marlins, sailfish, and swordfish. They have sleek, streamlined bodies and are fast swimmers. Fishes can form schools containing millions of fish. They use their eyes and something called a lateral line to hold their places in the school. The swordfish is very bad tempered. For no reason, it attacks boat and thrusts its snout forcefully against the wooden planking.
Most fish can see in color and use colors to camouflage themselves or defend themselves and their territory. Fish have the best possible eyesight for their habitat and can certainly see you peering at them in a fish tank. Some fish can see polarized and ultraviolet light. A fish does not add new scales and the rings it has increases in size. In this way, growth rings are formed and the rings reveal the age of a fish. A fish's age can be determined by growth rings in its scales. Saltwater fish need to drink more water than freshwater fish. Since seawater is saltier than the liquids in a fish's body, water inside the fish is constantly flowing out. If they did not drink to replace the lost water, saltwater fish may dry up like prawns. The biggest fish in the world is the giant whale shark, which can grow to nearly 20 meters, the length of two school buses. It weighs over 25 tons. It has over 4,000 teeth, though they are only 3 mm long. The fastest fish is the sailfish. It can swim as fast as car travels on a highway. The slowest fish is the seahorse. It swims so slowly that a person can barely see it is moving. The dwarf seahorse, which takes about one hour to travel four meters, is another slow moving fish. It even looks as if it is simply standing up, not swimming. The most poisonous fish in the world is the stonefish. Its sting can cause a shock, paralysis and even death if the victim is not treated within a few hours. It is very amazing to know about these salmons. These salmons are born in fresh water migrate to the ocean, then return to fresh water to reproduce. In the Yukon River in Alaska and in Canada, certain tagged Chinook salmon covered nearly 2000 miles in 60 days. Salmon also have adapted to live in different water bodies like rivers, lakes, estuaries, coral reefs and the open sea. A fish can drown in water. Like human beings, fish need oxygen. So, if they do not get enough oxygen in the water, they will suffocate. Scientists have explored only 1% of the ocean depths. They believe millions of new kinds of animals and fish are down there waiting to be discovered.